Hello Capricorn viewers, the last video we did, I was getting that your person was wanting to come forward, but they just weren't completely sure if you would even give them a second chance or not. So I'm not sure if we're going to get the same story today or if it's going to be something different, but let's see what the cards have to say. Are we looking into your situation? Um, this could be an ex, could be a new person coming in, just whatever your story is. So let's see. Capricorns that are watching this video. What is currently going on? It's your story. Fledgling, differences, choices, and reminder. Okay, I need to get some clarifier cards for this just to make sure I know what it's trying to tell me. Swords, the moon, and ten of pentacles. Yeah, see, this might be somebody that's not financially stable, and they might have relied on you in the past financially, and so they're kind of just... It's like you're with the moon, you're looking, whatever the situation might be, it's like you're focusing on your finances and your abundance and your, your the things that make you happy. You know, you're looking away from this knight of swords. It's like... He's trying to make this vow. He's like, he's wanting to come forward, but you're not trusting it fully. You're not, you're kind of questioning it. Or maybe you keep being told by readers, he's coming forward, he's coming forward, or she's coming forward. It's, it's whatever, whatever your story is. This could be male, male, female, female, male, female, however it resonates with you. Don't get too caught up on the wording. But it's almost like you're being told your, your knight of swords is coming in. You know, he's going to come in with this love offer that he's going to be loyal and honorable and have integrity and he's going to um you know make the effort that he's going to look at him he's making this vow he's making promises to you but it's almost like either he's making these promises to you but you don't fully believe them like you don't know if you can trust him or you know it could also be just that you're being told he's going to be doing these things and you haven't seen it and you're kind of losing faith which makes sense you know, if this is somebody that you've been waiting on for a long time, you don't want to waste too much of your time waiting on somebody. You can always hold space for them, but also open yourself up to new love. But with the moon here, it's like you're using your intuition and you're looking away from this. You're like, you know, maybe I'll hold space for him. I'm, I'm, I'll, I mean, I'll hear him out. I'll hear what he or she has to say, but I'm not going to waste my life on this person anymore. You know what I mean? I'm not going to waste all my energy. I'm going to focus on myself and my finances on abundance and... That was a good clarifier for what I got here. The fledgling is about, this first card right here is about new beginnings. Um, but then it's like you want, you guys want this new beginning, but it's like you're being reminded of the differences in this relationship or they're being reminded of the differences. You know, someone's like remembering, you know, the miscommunication or the arguments or, you know, religion differences or political differences just some type of differences something that just doesn't balance out well or maybe different romance languages like one of you wants the vulnerability in the romance and the other one wants the other one show you know has a different romance language and they they show you they want to be romantic by buying you things but it's not enough for you there's just some type of difference here and you're being reminded, you know, reminder card, don't forget about those differences. Don't just see what you want to see, you know, make sure you see the entire picture, the, the green flags and the red flags, you know, look at the entire picture, the entire relationship. You know, don't just ignore the things that you don't like, really be honest with yourself and you're going to be making that decision on if this is still worth it. Let's see what else we can get. See if there's new love coming in. Because I know a lot of the people I've been channeling lately, they're they're 
you know, kind of getting tired of waiting and they have, they're starting to manifest new love for themselves. So let's see what else I can get on this situation. All right, so for the, those that are drawn to this video, what can you tell me about this situation? Like, is there a second energy? Is there new love coming in? What is going on with that? I didn't mean to put all those upside down. <laughs> set up. So we got the five of cups, the four of swords, the six of pentacles, the tower, strength, knight of pentacles, ace of pentacles. Okay. With the five of cups and the four of swords here, I feel like something, you know, some you, you are letting go of something. You're learning from your mistakes. You know, if this is the same energy that I channeled before, it was like somebody that was wanting to come forward, but they just weren't, weren't sure if you would take them back. It was kind of a messy situation. So I'm wondering if some of you, you've just kind of lost hope because it's like you keep being told that they're coming forward, but you're not hearing from them. And they're, you know, if there was miscommunication in the past or there was just distance or differences, it's like maybe you're just not sure if, there's just this hesitation, like maybe one or both of you are not sure about this, you know, and so they're just, they're not coming forward. They're scared you wouldn't give them a second chance. I think they might also, you know, be worried that maybe there are too many differences. Maybe there is too much miscommunication. Maybe too much time has gone by. I think you've gotten impatient with this situation, and so you're kind of just letting them fade away. You're not really going after them anymore. You know, you see the Five of Cups, you see the Mermaid. It's the first card. It's like she's like watching her ship sail away, but she's not chasing it. She's not going after it. She's sad and she's definitely noticing that it's leaving her, but she's not trying to put herself in that situation anymore. She's not trying to play the same story over and over again on repeat. With the Four of Swords, you know, you have this period of, of recovery, of just rest, isolation, just, just taking some time out for yourself. I almost feel like this person cost you financially because like with the six of pentacles here, that's about wealth. That's about, that's somebody who's generous. They're wealthy, but they're also generous. So I feel like either this is the person that you lost or maybe this person was relying on you financially. There could just be something with finances there. But with the tower, it's like, you, you know, you're aware, like I said, the tower is like a drastic overnight change. So it's maybe you're communicating with this person. You're, you guys are finally becoming aware that this can't go anywhere. Um, or it's just like the tower in the sense that it's just, it's just these overnight changes. Could be like career change. They might lose their job. Maybe they're going to lose their job and they're going to, you know, try to reach out to you for financial support or something of that sort. For some of you, at least. Not for all of you, but for a few of you. You're just realizing that the situation that you were in is just not serving you anymore. And it was kind of a wake up call, you know, that you don't want to keep doing this to yourself forever. And so you're trying to be strong right now with this the strength card next to it. You're really trying to be strong. And then we have this the Knight of Pentacles and Ace of Pentacles. Maybe you took a financial hit because of this person, and so you're kind of trying to um, rebuild your finances. Or you might just be trying to distract yourself because I think this person hurt you, and you're just kind of tired of waiting for them. You're tired of the same old situation. So you're trying to focus on yourself more. There's a lot of pentacles in this reading. So that's about like finances, hobbies, career, abundance. You know, you're trying to focus on, you know, your career, your hobbies, on the things that make you happy. With the Ace of Pentacles, you do have a new start coming in. So you might have, if you're like job hunting right now, you might be finding a new job soon. Or maybe um, graduating college or just, you know, new career or something on that track. Like you do have a new start when it comes to finances. This could be getting a promotion. This could be getting a new job. Um, this could be good at just simply getting your finances back on track. Maybe they've been off track for a little bit and you're finally getting them on track again. So it's mostly 
I feel like the energy is kind of focused on, is heavily focused on yourself right now. Not so much on love. Not that love's not around, but it's just like you're kind of tired of this situation with this person. So you're focusing on, um, on what you're dealing with more right now. But let me see what else I can get for you guys. All right, so is, oh, let's see. So I think, yeah, you, you are focused on yourself. Let's see, is new, what, what can you tell me about new love? Is new love coming in if the viewers let go of this person that's just kind of been stagnant? And again, it's your choice if you want to let go of them or not. Um, right now, it seems like things are just a little... There's just these differences that I don't know if they if they know how to work through them. It's not a lack of care. I think they're just kind of they're kind of being logical about the situation, and they're kind of you know, they're kind of I don't know like they don't. It's not a great energy that I get from this group. If this is your reading and this is resonating with you a lot, then I mean the the energy I get is just it's not great. So I mean from you know your 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 partner or your ex or whoever this person is. It's not a great energy. So let's see. So is new love coming in? Like what else can you tell me about this story? I mean, I feel like focusing on your finances and your career and all that, I think that makes you more attractive as well to people. So I think people, maybe you're going to be meeting somebody at work or something like that. It's possible. Got trapped, grove, playful, success, fragment, vision, and honesty. I almost feel like you need to do soul retrieval here because like, look at this. Because I'm looking at these cards. I feel like these probably belong together actually. So trapped fragment and grove so it's like you kind of were trapped in the situation it's like you weren't really happy with whatever the situation was just them not being around them not stepping up and with fragment like you might need to do some soul retrieval it's like you might have lost a part of yourself to this person it's like you're not fully there and you need with Grove here, it means that you need rest. You need healing. You need to go easy on yourself. You might need to just focus on yourself for a while. Um, and of course, you can hold space for this person to return. It's not saying that you can't. I think that by, you know, healing yourself, by taking taking time to rest, not not obsessing over the, you know, not waiting on this person or not... not um, it's like your mind is just overactive when it comes to this person, I feel, you know? And you want to reclaim, you want to maybe do soul retrieval and reclaim those parts of yourself that you've lost and just take some time to rest, to heal, to just go easy on yourself, to do things that are fun for you, to not worry and stress and control everything, but just go easier on yourself and get into that playful energy. And that's going to, you know, playful right here, and that's going to lead you to success. That's going to lead you to whether it's this person coming back or it's a new person or it's just you being happy with where you're at in life. That, you know, that healing and that, you know, going easier on yourself and getting into this playful, free-spirited, just meditative kind of energy is really going to help you. And using your intuition and, you know, being honest with yourself is really going to help inspire others to be honest with you as well. So I just feel like you, you're gonna, you ha, you're, you need to go through this transition and kind of get to this better place where you can, again, you can still hold space for this person. Not saying that you can, it's up to you, but you know, don't put your life on hold for them necessarily. Just kind of hold space for them. But you know, it seems like you've gotten frustrated with this situation. It seems like you keep being told they're coming back and then they just kind of they overthink it and they end up not coming forward. You know, they end up thinking about the differences or the lack of communication, or maybe it's just been a while. They, they, they come up with reasons not to reach out. It's just kind of this roller coaster energy. It's just back and forth, back and forth. Um, and so, you know, you, you can hold space if you still feel like this is the right person for you. I don't get a, I don't know if I get a great vibe because I get something with finances that some of them were financially using you. 
or their finances are just not stable. There's just something off there with this person that I don't really trust. I don't know what it is for sure, but there's just something there. I feel like you might be better off right now focusing on yourself, focusing on your healing, focusing on you know your career and your hobbies and just this playful energy and doing the things that make you happy. And I feel like that's the kind of energy that's going to manifest the right person in your life. And again, you might be meeting somebody at work. I do sense like maybe there's a coworker or somebody that likes you there there might be something to do with work or this could be in the future too i don't know for sure if it's the present and it might not be for all of you but if that resonates there may be somebody at work that's been noticing you or somebody that you have some kind of career connection with basically um let me pull some more cards though so. So what can you tell me about new love coming in? So once, you know, once these viewers are kind of focusing on themselves, they're, you know, maybe holding space for this, this ex, but, you know, mostly just trying to, to manifest new love and see what else is out there. Just keeping your options open. You know, what can you tell me about love coming in at that point? What else is going on? And, it, you know, energy changes all the time. So when I do these readings again in a couple weeks or so, you might, you know, hopefully have a new um, person around or new energy around to, to channel. But let me just see if there's anybody in your energy field even right now. So what's going on with that? Yeah, I, I guess I, there is. I think there might be there might be people that have just maybe just in your energy field basically. But you're overthinking it, or they're overthinking. Oh, here, let me see. Let me see what all the cards say. Like, hold on. Let me see what the cards say. <laughs> You see, I don't know if you're at the point where you're fully, like, noticing other people. I mean, there might be, because this, this still feels like the old energy with the cards that I pulled. It feels like that story. It's almost like, it could be like a karmic partner almost, because it's almost like there's, like, something there that you guys haven't. It's almost like they're blocking you from new love, or you're blocking yourself from new love because... Maybe they messed you up, so it's hard for you to trust anybody now, or you're just, you don't want to start all over with somebody new. It makes sense. But it's almost like there's like this block, because I do sense a coworker. I do sense like people around you, someone around you that might be more financially stable that would probably, you know, that wants to take you on a date. But it's like, I think you're still hung up. I'm not, it's for some of you, you probably are not over this person. You probably are still hoping that they finally get it together and reach out. But for others, I think it's like you're over the situation, like you're just, you're, I mean, you're over the person to the degree, like you're, you're tired of the situation, you're tired of the same old, same old, you're tired of constantly being told they're coming back and then having them not come back. And, you know, you're kind of just over it, but it's like, it's still blocking you to some degree because it's like, you're still, you're just not over that. You know what I mean? It's like you, you're your trust you need to heal because you don't really you can't really trust anybody right now i think you're having a hard time with that because of what this person has done um sacred man and then we have nightmares so this is this is like sleepless nights this is deep regrets this is a chaotic mental state fear and anxiety I feel like this is both you. I feel like you guys are mirroring each other in that way. It's like both of you are, are kind of in that chaotic mental state where you both have fear and anxiety and you both just... And you're both just overthinking things, really. I just, I sense differences though between you guys. So it's almost like you're, you've been romanticizing the relationship. Like it wasn't as good as you're telling yourself it was, I feel. If this is your story, it's almost like, like you, you, it was potential. Like you thought it could be that or you thought it could be this or you thought it could be that. But there was just, you know, some part of you that wasn't fully happy with this person. Um... There's just a lot of anxiety and overthinking on both ends. And, you know, it's like they, they go to reach out to you, but then they stop themselves. We hear that we have the subconscious card, which says, you know, your mental and physical reality is influenced by your subconscious patterns and your deeply rooted beliefs. So you might have some subconscious patterns that you're repeating here. 
And again, I do feel like this person hurt you on a subconscious level. So I think it is blocking you from new love to a degree because you're just not over the situation. Um, you know, you do need to do on with Sage here where you do need to do some uncrossing work, healing work, you know, going easy on yourself, getting into that, that playful, free spirited, just easy flowing energy. I think that there's this stagnant energy because it's like these control issues and just trying to make things something just there's too much control, too much stagnation that needs to be cleared away. With psychic battle, it's basically saying there is victory after struggle, but it's also saying that fight isn't over. I mean, if you do choose to stay with this person and choose to keep, you know, trying to call them back into you, it's up to you. But, the, you know, it, it might still be a roller coaster. It might still be, oh, wow, they're finally coming back. And then you don't hear from them. And then, you know, or you get a text. And then a week, two later, there's just silence, leave, ghosting you, leaving on red. Um, so it's kind of saying like, you know, it's up to you, but it's, it's kind of a, a tricky situation. Like, is this still worth it to you? It's like this person is trying to find the strength and courage to, you know, choose love over fear, to, to be emotional and, and vulnerable and open with you and express themselves. But it's like, they just, they lack that strength and courage, you know, they just, they don't really... It's just a very tricky situation. And I mean, I know that the desire, the desire seems like it is there. Like they do want to come forward and talk to you, but they just, seems like there's like some commitment phobias and maybe just, there's just fear that you guys both overthink things. And I almost feel like you guys feed on each other's energy. It's like you overthink things and you worry about what they're doing or not doing. And then they overthink things too. And so it's like you guys feed off of each other's energy just back and forth. And so holding on to that kind of control and that stat, they just, it's creating stagnation. Like you're, it seems like your love life seems a little, honestly, I hate to give you guys a bad reading, but it, it's, I hate to tell you guys that, but it seems like your love life might be kind of blocked right now because of just overthinking and, and just fear and anxiety and maybe just waiting for this person when they're kind of not around. So I think that you just, you really gotta go easier on yourself and just try to meditate and just try to relax and let go a little bit and just focus on the things that make you happy, you know, like your career, your hobbies, your finances, just things that can, you know, you can do things you can do to little things here and there that you can do to better your life. Um, and I think your person, again, they just overthink just like you do. And so it's like they want to reach out, but then they stop themselves. They just think of reasons not to, or they think of, they were like reminded of the differences or, or the miscommunication or things that happened in the past and then they decide not to go forward because of those things. Um, with with dragon spirit and feeling here, it's kind of like, yeah, like they want they they want to have the strength and courage to come forward, but then they just they doubt themselves, they doubt the connection. And they don't really seem to know how to be vulnerable. So it is still a battle with this person. It's letting you know, you know. If this, if this feels like your person, this feels like the right person to you, then hold space for them. Like, hold space for them to be in your life. Be empathetic with them. Try to be, um, you know, open with them to a degree. To a degree. Um, but just hold that space for them without waiting for them. You know what I mean? Like, there is an energetic difference between between waiting for somebody and wor worrying about what they're doing and, and overthinking things and trying to analyze them and, you know, trying to just focusing on when they're coming back. And there is an energy difference between that and just holding space for somebody like where you're, you're living your life and you're, you know, trying to keep up, keep just heal yourself and doing the things that you love doing, but you still have space in your, in room in your heart and in your life for them. But I feel like you're hurting yourself with the situation. I feel like you're kind of blocking your love life. So I would keep your options a bit more open. And again, if you want hold space for them, but don't wait for them, if that makes any sense. Let's see if I can get like just a few more clarifier cards here. Yeah, see... Might be some dream communication here too. There could be a psychic bond. And saying you're you're 
being divinely guided and supported by the angelic realm right now, you know, because you do need healing. You need to do the shadow work. You need to purge. You need to go through this pain. You know, the path to wholeness requires introspection, honesty, vulnerability, um, you know, being honest with yourself about what's working for you with this connection and what isn't. Being honest with yourself about if this is still worth um, the battle, if it's, is it worth it to still go through it, or do you want to just hold space for them that maybe keep your options open and, and try to manifest new love. But you, you do have a lot of healing work to do, it seems like, from this, this group, from what I'm getting. So... Yeah, hopefully um, when I do these readings again in a couple weeks or so, hopefully we'll get a little bit of a better energy. I'm hoping maybe that they're, maybe that coworker or whoever this person is that is kind of coming, I don't know, it could be a future person because I, I do sense like a period where you're going to probably be um, just focusing on yourself, like I said, for a little while. So I don't know if this is actually a current person or a future person, but hopefully the, the reading in a couple weeks will be a little bit more positive. I'm hoping that that there will be some new energy to pick up on. So anyway, thank you guys for watching and please subscribe if it resonates. Thank you.